Hello, today I would like to show you this quite interesting vintage wireless CCTV camera setup. It's divided into two separate devices. We've got the camera and black and white CRT screen. It's looking absolutely great. And I'm going to show you two main features of this device. Let's take a look at the camera. So as you can see, this setup is wireless, just like it's stated here. But of course, it does require power and you have to provide it into the camera. So even that you've got a technically a wireless link on the video and the audio, you still need to power it on. That was like a great setup because it was a all-in-one solution that you can mount by yourself. Here you can clearly see the antenna. The quite interesting part is the frequency range where this device is operating and it's using 2.4 gigahertz, which is a ISM band and it's heavily occupied by a Wi-Fi nowadays. From the noise that I see, it looks like the link is using analog signal, which is a quite interesting. We've got uh, infrared LEDs, and that's because this device can see in the dark. We've got the antenna. On the back, we've got a switch. This switch is allow us to choose a frequency channel. So if we are unlucky and we've got, a, for example, a Wi-Fi router working in that area, or we've got a second camera, then we can try to change the frequency. So this is the camera looking very nice. Of course, the lens is pretty terrible, but you do not need anything great from a black and white small screen. This is how it looks like the screen. Very nice. Just like you know from a Wi-Fi, you've got the antenna. And to get the best reception, you need to try to locate the best signal. That's why it can be nicely adjusted. We've got a speaker and adjustment for the vertical horde, which is when the picture is jumping, you can adjust this. We've got the contrast and the brightness. Here we've got the mode selector. We've got normal mode and audio only. And in second, I'm going to tell you what I believe the was the main use for this device. Here we've got the switch and the volume adjustment. Here we've got a output for the headphones and the back. Here you can see audio output from the receiver, the wireless, most likely to plug it into the VCR. And we've got the channel selector. Here you've got the DC input. And what's very interesting, on bottom you've got that part. This is not fixed. This can be removed by undoing that screw. Inside that compartment, you've got place to put uh, batteries and you've got a uh, true portable device. And now I'm going to tell you why I believe it was meant to operate it in that 
battery mode that you can easily grab it Why you can go into audio only. I believe this device was intended to be used as a wireless monitor like a, for a wireless nanny for seeing your child. So you can go for example into the kitchen that was pointing at child in the crib and you can leave it at the audio only and if you can hear your baby crying you can just go to the normal mode you can see what's going on and you can go back to the audio only or if you would like to see whether the child is doing something or not you turn it on and go back that's why the being able to take it makes a lot of sense let's try to plug everything first I'm going to hook up the monitor with the receiver and we can of course unplug the battery pack and use a standard DC power supply the positive is at the tip and I'm going hook up a seven and a half volt that's what I believe yeah a seven and a half volt for our camera so let's point the camera at my electronic bench and we should be able to turn it on as you can hear it's picking up the microphone and just in second we should see the picture or oh, or no i'm only at the audio only mode so let's go to the normal and as you can see we've got picture let me adjust sadly on the camera it doesn't look very good let's try to check a different channel okay and here does it look better? I believe yes. And as you can see, we can see my lab. We can see my bench. My oscilloscope. And the device is working quite nice. So as you can see the device is fully operational. It is quite interesting to see a CRT screen with a wireless support, especially in the 2.4 ISM band. This is of course for nowadays a terrible choice. That's because all the interference from a Wi-Fi is going to affect the signal and it will be a pretty big problem to locate a frequency and the place where the Wi-Fi is not in use. So definitely the, the noise that I can see sometimes is not digital. It's not from uh, some sort of codec. The, the stripes that they are flashing they looks like a clearly analog so i believe the link is totally analog let's try to turn off the light and let's see what's going to happen the lights are off and i can still see everything the infrared diodes are working correctly 
and we can see my lab after dark. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, that's my lab in complete darkness. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.